New York in the 70s. Rock and roll was king until a group of young revolutionaries stole back the night. It was the best party in town. It was a, a time of people going out and going to the clubs and having a good time. <laughs> it was not only a revolution in music, it was a revolution in, in sex, a revolution in fashion. And disco was born. Radio was freaking out, record companies were freaking out. It was the ultimate hedonistic experience. There was a lot of drugs. And when Studio 54 came along, there already was a history of gay disco. This wasn't the first disco, it was just the ultimate disco. I'd go downstairs in the VIP lounge and you see big stars screwing the busboy. They had their heroes. It was hard for artists, for black artists, to cross over, to pop. I could get the worst case of laryngitis if you can't ask me to sing a song that I didn't like. And their superstars. We really didn't have much belief that, that disco was a separate genre uh, until Donna Summer cover of uh, Time or Newsweek that had Donna Summer on the front and it said, Disco takes over. Disco became a worldwide phenomenon. Kids like it. Parents like it. The grandparents like it. This movie created in the word disco and all of a sudden there's the disco revolution. You had the word disco on a record and it sold 300,000 copies. People didn't even hear it, they just bought it. A legacy that survives today. Everybody partied together, no one judged anybody. Everybody was there to have a good time. We want a party. We are just a, a party band. People were dancing. Freedom is in the air. The secret disco revolution.